Although the Wild West has given way to skyscrapers, freeways, some wide open spaces still exist, like Hurricane Valley. Well, that northern Arizona desert still holds lots of cactus, snakes, and wagon trains. And Randy Ripplinger has this report from the Honeymoon Trail. This is the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here except clear air and some spectacular scenery and an occasional wagon train. It's the real thing, complete with pioneers, quite a few horsepower, an Indian guide, and your basic Japanese foreign exchange student. A couple of days ago, they left someplace called Pipe Springs, bound for St. George, at a breakneck speed of 80 miles in four and a half days. They endure cold nights on the ground, midday desert heat, and restless natives. It's uh, a little unpleasant at times, but it's a lot of fun just to get out away from the telephone and the civilization and just relax. Uh, the thing that's good about it, you know, our old pioneer forefathers used to travel the same route. In fact, my parents traveled it uh, when they came to be married in the temple. And it's good to go back to that period of time and, and uh, learn that we can, can do the same things that they had to do, you know. Johnson's wagon train is duplicating the old-time trip on the honeymoon trail as much as possible, which includes delivering homemade honey and cheese to the Mormon temple president in St. George. These pioneers admit they don't make the trip as fast as the old-timers. They say they just don't make horses like they used to. Johnson says his group leaves as much technology behind as they can. This year, they gave in a little and brought a radio and some ice. One thing technology hasn't kept up with is how to make a good wagon. These cost about as much as a car, but today, they've been some places a car can't go. Randy Ripplinger, News Watch 2 in Hurricane Valley, Arizona.